this it is written 40 units see here so it is in red color this syringe is in red color so this 40 unit insulin should be used with the 40 unit syringe and the maximum unit return on the syringe is 40 hi unit. today we are going to learn about an important topic related to diabetic patients who is taking insulin it's very important we'll try to see this topic okay it's about insulin and their syringes so if the syringe is interchanged with the different type of insulin huge problem for the patient so insulins are basically classified depending on the action they are classified as fast acting intermediate acting and long acting another classification for insulin is depending on their strength depending on their concentration depending on their units they are classified into 40 unit insulin and 100 unit insulin so your 100 unit insulin is 2.5 times more stronger than 40 unit insulin do the basic math 100 by 40 so if you want to take 40 unit insulin in the uh, if you want to give 40 unit insulin to the patient in a while the patient has to use 40 unit syringe only if the patient want to take 100 unit insulin from the vial he has to use 100 unit syringe only so insulin syringe are also basically classified into two 40 unit syringe and 100 unit syringe so your 100 unit uh, insulin is 2.5 more time stronger or strengther or concentrated than your uh, 40 unit insulin we'll see a scenario where what happens if the patient change their insulin or you can say syringe type before that we'll try to see what are those different types of insulins yeah see here see this is the 40 unit insulin so for this 40 unit insulin you need to use this it is written 40 units see here so it is in red color this syringe is in red color so this 40 unit insulin should be used with the 40 unit syringe and the maximum unit return on the syringe is 40 only okay the maximum unit return on the syringe is 40 only hence you can easily identify this uh, 40 units insulin should be used with the 40 unit syringe the total volume of the syringe is 1 ml and the units is 40 units remember this 40 unit insulin with 40 unit syringe next one is check this clearly written 100 unit insulin it should be taken with the 100 unit insulin syringe see the color it is in orange color so this one is in orange color the syringe is in orange color so you need to use 100 unit insulin with 100 unit syringe only clearly written here here also the total volume is 1 ml but the units written here is 100 maximum unit is 100 so now we will see one typical case where what happens if the patients are interchanging their syringes if the patient interchange their syringes what happens what happens if the patient interchange their syringes we'll take two patients here patient one who is using only 40 unit insulin so he need to use red color type of syringe patient two is using 100 unit insulin he need to use orange color type of syringe let's say doctor prescribed that for two patients 20 units of insulin for both of them units is same 20 the only thing which is different is strength he is taking 100 units patient two is taking 100 units insulin patient one is taking 20 unit insulin so the strength is difference here um, only the difference is strength here if the patient one lost his red color insulin he need to go to the uh, chemist he will ask for give me one uh, insulin syringe he lost the syringe or his syringe is blunt he will ask the chemist give me one insulin syringe instead of giving him the red color the chemist gave him orange color assume there is a misplace because chemist doesn't know or the patient doesn't have the knowledge the injections are misplaced so what happens now see the 20 unit here I will show you this one yeah 
check if I keep them side by side like this okay see the 20 units 20 units in left side 100 unit insulin is only small amount you will get there and uh, 20 units in right side 40 unit insulin is large amount see the difference see the difference of 20 units in left side and right side so you will be ending up taking less amount of insulin in 20 units in case of 100 unit insulin you will be end up taking more amount of insulin more volume of insulin in in case of 20 units in case of 40 unit syringe so there is difference here why so uh, yeah uh, why it is like that because 100 unit is more strength and hence he has to take only less to get that effect now assume this patient is taking insulin he has to take insulin with the red in, uh, injection he is taking the insulin with the orange injection okay by uh, a mistake or uh, chemist mistake or his mistake he bought orange color insulin so he'll be ending up taking only less insulin here in case of uh, uh, orange he'll be because the unit is 40 he is taking only unit 20 here the less amount hence his blood sugar level will increase and he will get hyper hyperglycemia this is for the case one we will see for the case two he is also taking only 20 units but in this case the concentration or the type of insulin is 100 unit insulin he need to take only 20 units here so 20 units in 100 is only this much but in uh, 40 is this much almost half half is filled 40 means this one so almost half is filled if the patient too instead of taking insulin in orange syringe he is taking insulin in red syringe patient too what happens now the patient too will be ending up taking more insulin already the insulin is concentrated 100 units you're taking more amount of insulin hence his blood sugar level will fall drastically he'll get hypoglycemia and there is a chance that he will die also so generally what happens if the patients are very uh, a patient's age is more so doctor will not ask them to strictly control the blood sugar reason is there is a chance that has you cross 50 or 60 if you get hypoglycemia there is a chance that at same time you will get heart attack also there is a chance so doctor will not advise them so this is very very important so this what happens when you interchange the syringe of different units of insulin i urge you people to share this video or learn from my video and explain to your relatives friends or anybody who is taking insulin and please advise them not to interchange the syringe i hope you understand thank you